that'll come together. I don't think it's imperative that the entire party come together. I don't want everybody. I don't even want certain people that were extraordinarily nasty. Let them go their own way. All right. Joining us now, as promised, Tom DeLay, former U.S. House Majority Leader and Congressman from the, uh, the great state of, uh, of Texas. Hello, Congressman. You vote for Trump? <laughs> Well, it's pretty amazing that Trump just let me off the hook, didn't he? Yeah, he said he doesn't doesn't necessarily need you, but I'm asking you, would you do it? Well, let me tell you something. The next president of the United States is going to be a person with no character, no faith, no no integrity, no understanding of the Constitution. Uh, And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift gears and, and look down ballot and try to elect good, solid conservative, constitutional conservatives, and that's what I'm going to be spending my time at. Trump is going to have to do a lot of work to fundamentally change to get my vote. My vote does not belong to the Republican Party. My vote belongs to me, and I have a very, very hard time voting for someone that, frankly, is running on tyranny. And we've been through this, I think, that if Hillary gets to appoint two or three Supreme Court justices, then everything and everything we we know and and hold dear, I mean, uh, freedom of speech will be severely limited. Um, a Second Amendment well, will be out the window, right on down the line. Now you're going to tell me Trump might do the same thing. He's not going to appoint the judges that Hillary will. You know that. Well, first of all, it's not over when a president appoints judges. So if we're working for good, solid conservatives in the Senate, they can stop Donald Trump's bad nominations or Hillary's bad nominations. Uh, the, the Congress can stand up as we did to Bill Clinton and, and evoke the power of the purse. We can stop this ju- judicial supremacy that's going on in our country. It's, it's not over, but, but depending on the president, but I can guarantee you that Trump will not uh, nominate uh, someone that, uh, like a Scalia or, or someone that I could vote for if I were in the Senate. You know, you know that that uh, the Senate acquiesces uh, on the Republican side. On the Republican side, the Senate acquiesces and say elections have consequences. The president is entitled to you know to his or her selection, uh, and 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 that's how they that's how they do it. They rubber stamp it on on the Republican side. You know that's always been the case for the uh, nine, 99 out of a hundred times. Steve, let me read you a quote from Alexander Hamilton. If we must have an enemy at the head of the government, let it be the one whom we can oppose and for whom we are not responsible, who will not involve our party in the disgrace of his foolish and bad measures. Hillary Clinton and uh, we've told people in the Republican Party that if you nominate Donald Trump, you're going to have Hillary Clinton as president and a hugely uh, uh, damaged party. That's what's going to happen. So they rejected that whole argument that if you nominate Trump, you get Hillary. Now they want to play that argument on me. And now they want to say, if you don't vote for, for Donald Trump, you get Hillary. You're going to get Hillary no matter who you vote for. Well, I don't. I don't necessarily agree with that because I mean I think he'll bring up enough. To, uh, dis- you, don't forget, you're going to have a whole chorus of Bernie supporters who are going to be so ticked off at Hillary that they're either going to stay home or they're going to come out and 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 some of them might vote for Trump. You're going to have independents. Steve. He's got. He's bringing people into the party. If our party would stay Steve. with him, we could win. No, Steve. First of all, twenty to forty percent of our party is going to stay home because they can't bring themselves to vote for a Donald Trump, a man like that. Secondly, that, that by their very nature, socialists are collectivists. And the minute that Hillary is, is nominated, all those Bernie people are going to come over and support Hillary. Uh, the, the party over there is not even close to being as divided as, as the Republican Party is. And you're going to have a Trump is going to have a very hard time when he stands up the day after he wins Indiana and says, I don't need your help. Go away, conservatives. Uh, that just tells them, uh, okay, I'm going to stay home. You you think you can do all this on your own? Get after it. All right. Well, what, one one more. Uh, if if, if uh, Donald Trump uh, were to uh, be challenged by and Hillary challenged by a third party candidate, do you support the uh, the movement, the Bill Crystal movement, and some movement of others to get a third party candidate in there? I, I, I would just as soon get back in and try to take back the Republican Party and use my time to stand for conservative constitutional principles 
against a president that wants to be a tyrant. Uh, I, either either one. Uh, Donald Trump has run on using the power of the of uh, the government against American people. Uh, if you don't uh, agree with him, that is tyranny. We've had that with Obama for eight years, and we're going to get it again with Hillary or uh, Trump. All right. Not painting a pretty picture, my friend. Always great to talk to you, Congressman. Thank you very much. I'm speaking for the 60 percent of the people that didn't vote for Trump. Hi. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Congressman. Thank you, Steve. All right. Uh, we're coming back with more of your calls, folks. 877 Newsmax. Give us a call.